uh, YouTube and Eastern Box Turtle fans. Uh, we're making a video today. Uh, today is July the 10th and it's very hot. We're here in Georgia. So uh, we're going to, the purpose of this video is to talk about keeping your turtles good and cool. Uh, we have a, a pond here, but right now uh, it's not uh, turtle friendly because you can see that our water level doesn't come up all the way. I have a seam here that I need to fix uh, so that we can bring it up all the way. And then it, it should be good for our turtles. So in the meantime, we've uh, blocked off our uh, turtles this way and then I've got another uh, table that I'll, I'll put down here to keep them from going up there in the morning. Um, this is our turtle scout. She's eating some corn. Uh, she's eating a little dog food, uh, but she will eat anything. We give her a, a bluegill one day. Uh, she uh, ate the guts and bones and everything on about half of the bluegill. Uh, she likes night crawlers. Uh, we can even give her uh, a strawberry. Out of our little strawberry patch, we got that they can get some food here. But as I say, our main purpose of this video is to talk about keeping your guys cool. And Toby, if you can turn around, you can see we have a big tree here in our backyard. It's uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, and the shade has actually been over this, this area since around 4 o'clock, I guess the really hottest part of the day. And back in here, we have a little house. And this is our our friend, uh, Roxy. And she's, uh, <laughs> she's, she's showing off. Uh, she has gone turtle on us. Let's see here, we'll help you out. There you go, Roxy. She's exploring. A lot of times Roxy spends her uh, evenings in, in here. We've dug this place out. And look, there goes, uh, there goes a sponge. She's also going back in here. But we've got it dug out in the back here. And this ground is good and cool. It's also uh, a little moist. I, I water it down a little bit. Don't soak it, but I give it a you know good little water, and then the turtles they like to come in here and spend the night. Sponge usually spends her evening right here, and you can see she's uh, she's quite the digger. She likes to dig a hole, and again our, our the earth is good and cool, and especially today I think it got up to 92 degrees here. It uh, it really helps our turtles to have a good place to go because the, the heat can be just as dangerous as you know extreme cold because they're reptiles of course and they uh, have a, they can't regulate their body temperature so around 70 degrees is, uh, is ideal for them so when it gets to be at 90 degrees or 50 degrees on the other side it gets a little bit harder for them to carry on with their regular activity and as you can see it looks like is going to try to go back in her normal little spot. And she might walk around. She's probably going to walk around here at the edge. And I just lean these boards. She stays in here during even the heat of the day. I guess it's a good spot for her. Scout that is eating up here, a lot of times she just buries herself in this, uh, this little mound here. was a little surprised with her being out in the open because in the morning to the early afternoon this gets direct sun in here but she buries under the ground and she seems like she's 
very healthy. She is by far our best uh, eater. And then down here, we have these four uh, evergreen trees. And this shade is very important, especially if you're in a place like Georgia where it gets really, really hot. And uh, underneath here, we have a hollow log here. We have another hollow log here. This is uh, where Prime Pan uh, spent the winter. We have a uh, flower pot. And we've got some pine straw in the flower pot. And it provides a really nice place uh, also for them to go because it's underground. And when you feel in here, it's good and cool. We also uh, have uh, leaves from this past uh, fall. They're starting to get a little a little worn down though, so we're going to have to rake us up some more pine straw and bring up here. Uh, don't really have any uh, leaves very much. Grass clippings will also do well if you uh, you know have have some grass clippings from a yard. But the main thing is the turtles need a good place to uh, burrow into uh, when it's hot, and we try to also water this down uh, once a day so it. It's good and moist. It also uh, provides uh, a good habitat for worms and bugs for the turtles to, you know, catch their own food uh, when they're out in the morning. Um, and I believe that that's really about all I have. Uh, but uh, it's very hot this time of year, so uh, keep those turtles cool.